Hey guys, so I'm back today with a um, update video for you guys. I have been inactive on my channel for the past week and a half, almost two weeks. There comes a time in your life when you just get to a point where you just need a break and that's exactly what I needed. So I was in Florida um, for a week and a half. Um, actually, I left about almost two weeks ago now uh, today and I was there for a week and a half and it was probably the best thing I could have done for myself because I just needed to get away from everything. So when I first booked this trip, I really wanted to focus on vlogging the entire time. However, as time progressed and they got closer and closer to my travel date down to Florida, I realized that if I was going to vlog this entire trip, all I would be doing was just be putting myself in the exact situation that I was trying to get away from for a couple weeks and I didn't want to do that. I know it sounds ridiculous and some adults might be like, well, I'm an adult, but older, adultier adults will say, you know, that's so irresponsible of you to just run away from your problems, but I'm not running away from them. I'm just trying to take a break from those problems and trying to take a step back and looking at them from far away and thinking, okay, well, what can I do to resolve this problem and this problem and this problem? And, and that's exactly what I did. So yeah, that was, that was the whole Florida thing. Um, but I had an amazing time. I was able to visit with my dad and my, my brother and my friends and just, I was able to just remove myself from everything and just relax for a couple of days. And I feel like as an adult, we get into those mindsets where we can't, we can't afford to take those kind of breaks, but it's so necessary for your mental health to just get away from everything that stresses you out. So yeah, take that advice. Um, but a lot of people have been reaching out to me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, here on YouTube, asking me for another update on the Amy Slade situation. And I want to just just say that, you know, in my last video, which was an update on the situation, um, I did say that I was not going to talk about the situation ever again. I was over it. But that was before I learned that she was lying still. And before I even knew that she was going to ignore me again. Because I have not heard one thing from her. The one thing I asked from her was for receipts of where the money went. I still have yet to see any of those. I haven't heard a word from her, she hasn't messaged me at all, and it's just gotten to the point now where I'm kind of just annoyed because here I was trying to give her, you know, the benefit of the doubt, trying to be a good person, trying to, trying to help her fix the situation and trying to make clear her name, if you will, and she's just not working with me at all on that, and a lot of people were actually mad at me for trying to help her, but I'm the kind of person who tries to help people, even when I know they're wrong and I see they're wrong and they did me wrong, I try so hard to help people because that's the kind of person I am. And I guess it's just me being naive um, to think that, you know, people are going to be respectful and be honest with me, even though they've had obviously a very long track record of being dishonest and being liars. Um, but that's, I try so hard. I'm trying more recently actually, because I've never been this way before, but I've tried recently to see the good in people because all my life, for the most part, all I've ever done was see the bad in people first. And I've always been, like I said, that negative person who always saw the bad in people first and judged people for everything first. And it just, it's the one time I don't do that, it, it's biting me in the ass. Um, there have been a couple of videos uploaded in which these people say they donated to Amy's GoFundMe um, campaigns to both of them um, with amounts in excess of like a thousand dollars per account per GoFundMe, which I'm going to go ahead and just call bullshit right now because both those campaigns, um, and this is more new news to me, um, both campaigns, um, only got $800. And, um, I think in my last video I mentioned the fact that, um, actually I didn't mention this, Amy told me that her MacBook campaign only got $13, However, when I went and did some research on the original GoFundMe campaign and the original page, it says she got 800 and I think $830 or something around that. So, I mean, even though it's still shitty that she lied about the amount that was, you know, given to her on that GoFundMe campaign, it doesn't make sense for these people to be saying, you know, I, I gave $1,000 when there was only $800 in each account. So, 
I would be careful with who you trust and who you rely on as far as information. Some people are just trying to be assholes and take advantage of what's going on and trying to get attention on their channels, which to me is ridiculous. I mean, this none of this has been done to get attention. It's been done because it had to be done. You know what I mean? So just be careful who you trust. She did not get any campaign money that was over $1,000. Both campaigns were just just above $800 per campaign. So yeah, just putting that out. So as I was editing this video, two clips were laggy and they were really shitty, so I deleted them and I am now refilming both of the clips I had to delete. Um, anyways, like I was saying in this clip before it went to shit, um, there is one person on here on YouTube, and I forget his name, I will link it down below, but I'm pretty sure it's Smash something, it's a longer name, but I will link it down below, like I said, um, and in both of his more recent videos, he talks about the fact that Amy is still getting help from the government, even though she is making buku bucks here on YouTube, and she is actually confessed to me, I have the screenshot if you want to see it, um, she has confessed to me that at the end of the day, she really doesn't care if people think about her or what's going on because she is laughing on the way to the bank. Like, she is fine when it comes to going to the bank. She is good because she's making good money. And to me, that in and of itself was a confession. And now, if you're someone like me who has collected help in the past, I have. I've gotten help with food stamps in the past when I was really, really down and out. Um, you know that you're supposed to claim any and all sources of income when it comes to applying into this. And based on how much you get, whether it be from a job or from donation, whatever the case may be, um, that kind of makes out exactly how much you get each month. It depends on how much you make on your own without their help. So um, I can tell you right now, um, I know she's still getting help because she hasn't claimed any of that income whatsoever. And she's still getting that monthly paycheck and she has mentioned it in her last few videos. She has to wait till the first of the month to get her paycheck, to get her money. And what comes the first of the month? cash assistance. It, she's still getting the money, guys. And it's illegal. And a lot of people have actually talked about how they're going to report her. Some people already said they have reported her already. So the reason why I'm backing off is because her just desserts are being served to her on a silver platter, cold as fuck. And quite frankly, um, the government's going to, you know, do more to her than I ever could have. You know what I mean? Like, it's illegal what she's doing. She's lying. She's stealing. Still, now it's more serious because it's from the government. Um, so, I mean, like I said, I don't care too much because they're going to take care of her more than I ever could have. So it is what it is. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And that's what's going on now. So there was an arrest record back from back in like 2010 where she got arrested for shoplifting at a store. Like that, that just, that makes sense. You know, given what's been going on and what's happening, it kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? Um, but more so, um, I just recently saw her last video actually just to, I haven't watched her videos in so long, but her, like her two most recent videos, I think it was, um, the first thing that I wanted to point out that kind of seemed shady to me was the fact that the first video I saw was when she was in her camper and she was like vlogging from her camper and she showed us in the video the window that the dog supposedly jumped out of. Now, she said it was a German Shepherd and it was an older German Shepherd. It was like a grown dog German Shepherd. This window, first of all, had the panel back in it. like. And the panel itself didn't really make a difference as far as the size. The window, even without the panel, was incredibly small. So that just to me makes no sense how a grown ass, big ass German Shepherd was able to jump out of that kind of window. And if you go to the video and you see it and you watch it, you'll see what I mean. The window itself, even with the panel in it, looks really, really small. And it just doesn't make sense how a grown ass dog would be able to jump out of that window. So that's number one thing I want to point out. Um, number two, um, in one of her videos more recently too, um, she shows her arm where the dog bite happened and you don't see any puncture wounds. Now that it's healed, you're able to see, you know, the what had happened and what it looks like because it's not as bloody anymore, it's not as irritated, but you can clearly see a large gash down her arm. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it doesn't make sense to me that a dog bite did not have, wouldn't she have had like two long gashes? Like say the dog latched onto her arm and dragged down, like she was dragging her arm up to get away from it. 
wouldn't it have made two long gashes instead of just one really, really straight gash? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, but there's no puncture wounds. It's just, it doesn't look right to me. Maybe it's just me, you know, being over analyzing things, you know what I mean? But it just, a lot doesn't add up. And it's only making me question this whole situation even more. Because unless the dog only latched onto her arm with one, like, tooth or canine, as you, I think it's called a canine, or is it back here? I'm not sure what you call it, but as if the, unless the dog only latched onto her arm with only one tooth and dragged it down, I don't see how that's a dog bite. I don't see how a dog attacked her. So I'm not even sure the dog even exists. I don't even know if the dog was even real. I don't know if it was even, if it was real, if that was what happened. Maybe she just had the dog and didn't want to take care of it and put it back at the pound. Like, that's what I'm thinking it happened. So anyways, I was in Florida and I was actually on my way to City Place with my best guy friend Ray. We were going to go Pokemon hunting, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, and I got an email and I had, I was resting on that like middle console area of the car between the two seats and the front seats. And I was, I rest, I was resting on it and I got an email and I opened the email and when I saw what it said, I, I'm getting emotional right now thinking about it, but I like, it was literally like, oh, and he's like, what? And he leans over and he reads it and he was like, oh my God, it was such an incredible moment, and I'm just so excited and so happy and so blessed, and I just, I can't contain myself right now. Oh my god. So the email was from Michelle Fawn and Ipsy personally inviting me as their personal guest to Generation Beauty in New York City on September 17th and 18th. However, I'm going to be flying down a day early for that Friday night because that Friday night there is going to be an exclusive cocktail party for those of us who are content creators and the talent as I described it. So I am so excited for this. I'm just, guys, like... I can't, my cheeks hurt from smiling about it, especially when people ask me about it. Like, I'm, I'm just so excited. And it's everything that I've ever wanted for myself. And I'm so happy that, you know, because I do my videos, because I do my Instagram pictures and stuff like that, I'm finally getting recognized and... <sighs> I'm just so excited, guys. I'm so excited. So if you guys are going to be in the Brooklyn area, um, please come by and see us at Generation Beauty. I am so excited. I will be there both days. And like I said, I'm going to be at the cocktail party that Friday night. So if you're a content creator and you get invited, let me know down below and we'll make plans to hang out and go to shopping to Mac and Sephora like we do. And for those of you who are interested in seeing the goodie bag hauls, of course, I'll be doing that for you guys because from the email says, we're going to be getting a goodie bag each day and it's a pretty good goodie bag. So I'm so stoked, so excited. I just, I cannot wait to vlog the entire experience, which I will be doing while I'm there. So if you guys see me there, if you are going to be going, let me know. And if you see me there, please stop me. Tell me who you are if you're a content creator. Let's take pictures. Let's have fun. This is what this is about. Like networking, meeting new people, meeting the professionals. Like this is such an amazing opportunity. And I'm so blessed to be able to be going to this thing as a talent. But anyways... I'm going to get off here. I have a haul to film for you guys. Stuff from BH Cosmetics, from Morphe, um, the drugstore. I got some new palettes from W7 I want to show you guys. Some stuff from L'Oreal that I got sent from L'Oreal. Um, I have a lot to show you guys. So I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you're not ready. I love you guys.